So fish buttholes might be why we have fingers. New research on the formation of digits shows that the DNA switch that controls toe and finger development got its start regulating the formation of fish cloacas 380 million years ago. A team of US and Swiss researchers compared the genomes of fish and mice, specifically looking at the hoxt genes. Four-limbed animals have hoxt genes responsible for digit formation. The fish, who do not have digits, were missing some some hox genes, however they still had the genetic regulatory landscape adjacent to their hox genes. These gene markers were tagged with fluorescent markers in both the fish and the mice. In the fish, the switches for the cloaca lit up, but for the mice, it was the digits. Then using CRISPR-Cas9, they deleted these markers, and in the fish, the cloaca didn't form correctly, and in the mice, the digits failed to develop. So next time you shake hands, please think of fish fish cloacas. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. It's biodegradable plastic made from bamboo time. Developed by scientists at Shenyang University of Chemical Technology in China, this new plastic is made of cellulose fibers from bamboo, and its properties simulate and can even exceed those of conventional plastics. Bamboo is a highly renewable resource because of its very quick growth, so it's perfect for providing a good sustainable alternative to to the usual wood resources. The bamboo is first treated with a simple acid and zinc chloride. These break down the chemical bonds and make a sort of slurry made up of much smaller cellulose molecules. After that, ethanol is added, which makes the molecules rearrange into a sturdy, solid plastic. While currently not an inexpensive option, it was found to keep 90% of its original strength after recycling, which makes it economically appealing. And it's also biodegradable in just 50 days, which seems good. Say hello to the sword dragon of Dorset. This amazingly complete fossil was just found along the UK's Jurassic Coast and dates back to the Plinsbachian period around 190 million years ago. Nicknamed the sword dragon of Dorset, this new to science ichthyosaur is estimated to have been three meters long. It has huge eye sockets, pointed teeth, and a long sword-like snout, and it most likely would have eaten fish and squirrels. Wig. They noted it also has a bone around the nostril opening that's super weird, but I say is super cool. Here's an award-winning microsurgery VR robot. This incredible project uses virtual reality to scale up tissues to a massive size where surgeons could walk across the retina and essentially operate on the tissue as if they were, quote, raking leaves. They say changing the scale of the procedures to make them human size makes it much more comfortable for the surgeons to operate. To achieve this, they capture a 3D reconstruction of the surgical site in real time and immerse the surgeon in virtual reality. Then the surgeon's movements are shrunken so a robot can precisely perform them. The application for such a project goes beyond just ophthalmology. It can be used in the removal of tumors, neurosurgery, plastic surgery, and transplants. This definitely seems like seriously life-saving tech that for some reason you'll only hear about on Mind Blow. Now let's go to space. The European Space Agency is promoting their concept for a space transportation ecosystem. The ESA foresees transportation hubs that orbit the Earth, acting like airports or train stations and providing refilling and maintenance services for spacecraft, and even providing a platform for the manufacturing and assembly. This new ecosystem will need new technological developments like fuel and payload transfers between spacecraft, pulling spacecraft to other orbits around the Earth or other destinations, and automatic capturing and rendezvous of spacecraft. This Odyssey project plans to put all of these technologies together in an uncrewed propellant depot that will offer refilling services using propellant from visiting supply rockets and can distribute the propellant to spacecraft on stopovers to much further destinations like Mars or the Moon, or even just Earth-orbiting satellites. Anyway, Yes, please do this. Okay, the robots are now picking up tennis balls. Ollie can sense the tennis balls on the floor, pick them up, and then toss them into the basket. This full-size humanoid robot from Limex is fully autonomous with head and chest mounted depth cameras and 31 degrees of freedom, giving it smooth human-like movements. Ollie shows whole body loco manipulation with active perception. And really, we have so many of these videos coming out 
I just thought this was a funny one. Tennis ball robot. In much crazier science news, scientists have made egg-like cells that are capable of fertilization made by using DNA from ordinary skin cells. In a technique they developed and are calling mitomeosis, this process mimics the natural process of cell division. The nucleus of a skin cell containing the DNA from the intended parent is transferred to a donor egg that's had its nucleus removed. They then take that reconstructed egg and remove half of its chromosome complement to achieve 23 chromosomes. The egg is then fertilized with sperm from the other parent, resulting in an embryo. The researchers were able to create 82 functional oocytes using this technique with mixed results. While they say that refining this technique could take a decade, it shows the feasibility of mitomeosis and they're working on ways to enhance chromosome segregation and pairing to result in normal chromosomes in the embryos. So. That's a thing that's happening. Look, I don't know how to tell you this, but scientists observed and filmed a leopard shark threesome. They noted that at first one male mated with the female and then another male mated with her in quick succession. And it could shed some interesting light on the reproductive activities of this currently endangered species. There's a lot we don't know about the reproductive activities of sharks since they're very elusive and live in habitats that are not hospitable to humans. The event was over rather quickly with the first shark taking 63 seconds and the second taking 47 seconds before they lost their energy and the female swam away. Leopard sharks are able to asexually reproduce, and they note that while the effects of this newly observed mating style aren't quite clear yet, having multiple fathers could mean greater genetic diversity than the standard asexual reproduction produces. So, yeah. And now a Texas Instruments commercial starring Bill Cosby from 1982. Looking for a powerful home computer? This is the one, Texas Instruments home computer. With 16K memory, it can take you a long way. Want a computer with a lot of software? Oh, yeah, this is the one, the TI home computer. Gives you more of these software cartridges than any computer in the world, the whole world. So, with all the power you have here to run all the power here, this is the one, the home computer from Texas Instruments. This is the one. <laughs> 